Oh boy, we're gonna watercolor. Hold on to your hats, everyone. <laughs> All right, so I haven't done this in a while, not just a video. I haven't really watercolored like this in a while, but um, anxious to get into it again. The, I did this drawing of the Hulk because he's my go-to guy whenever I'm trying to draw something. I kind of like the way it came out. So I thought, well, maybe, well, maybe I'll try to, I was going to color him here, and then I said, well, maybe I'll do a watercolor of him. So I uh, broke out my watercolors and uh, sketched them out on the paper, and I don't know how well it shows up. The light pencils, but that's kind of intentional when you're watercoloring. Don't want the pencils to kind of overpower the drawing. So, obviously, uh, I've talked before about putting an undercolor down of the complement of the main color. If I were doing a green Hulk, I would put down red to do the shaded areas. I'm going to try to not do that today. I'm going to get like really experimental and really kind of uh, out there, maybe. So, putting this aside, I'm going to prepare some colors that I'll be using. Obviously, I'll be using green. Ta -da. Uh, this is uh, Skip's green. Uh, I'm using um, uh, American Journey watercolor. Um, so, I'm going to put down some, some green, prepare some of that, put in a little bit of blue and yellow, because I mentioned I'm sure I'll want to mix some of the green darker and lighter um, and I'll have to probably prepare some purple for his pants. Now the Hulk is my go-to guy um, because I like just drawing big big wide characters and I like drawing feet. I'm not exactly sure why but I do. Um, and I think that you know some of my favorite artists will take the Hulk and they'll do their own style on it but he seems to like you know, throw a fit. By the way, that blue I just put down was ultramarine blue, and then I'm going to put down some bumblebee yellow next to it, uh, or close by. Whoa, getting a little out of control there. A little bit of bumblebee yellow there. This one's been squeezed a bit, apparently. Do -do -do -do. Um, when I watercolor, I keep tissues close by for pulling water off. I've got water where I don't want it to be. Um, I don't have prepared this any kind of black, so we will, maybe we'll try to do this without black, or if I feel like I want to do the hair black and that kind of thing, I'll go back with my ink pen after it dries. What are other colors can I throw in there? We'll throw a little bit of this one. This is Andrew's Turquoise. I'm going to be shooting the works here, going places that I don't normally go. Uh, as a just kind of a stretching exercise, we'll call it that. Uh, there's some purple for the pants, the very little bit of pants we got there. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. It may, may, may turn out not good at all. I guess we'll find out. One last color, cobalt blue. We'll put some cobalt blue ready for the, over here as well. All right. And I'm going to use my big fat brush. Let's see if I can be using right here three fourths brush. I'm gonna see if I can do the whole thing in a big wide brush, um, just to see what that looks like. Uh, if I decide I want to get in details, I'll, I'll do that. So I, I keep with me a jar of water um, and putting clear water down uh, in big strokes onto the paper to kind of prep the paper for where I'm gonna go first. And I actually don't have much of a plan beyond. Um, actually, I put that down first, and I really probably ought to be doing the the belly and the face first. So let me just touch a little bit of green, and you'll see what happens here as I come into the paper and move it around. I think my hands will weigh a lot of the camera. Here. Could have 
done the painting once without y'all and uh, without a recording going, yes. And then come back and done it a second time. Maybe that would have been the wiser choice, but I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to foster that idea that experimenting is okay. Making mistakes is okay. Because they're not really mistakes. There's no such thing really as mistakes in art. There is just different ways of doing things. familiar with watercolor they say that uh, everything is urgent because the watercolors will dry before you're ready for them to or they'll run together when you don't want them to everything with watercolor is emergency or urgent get move quick so it's a matter of embracing the quickness Tell you right now, I'm not going to want to stay with this brush. I have this. I was told before that it seems like I treat watercolors like a like they're acrylics, and I should just embrace the fat brush. Uh, small brushes are for small ideas and small artists. Big brushes are for the big artists. That was one of the quotes I had heard in the past. I think. That was said by an artist who was very well practiced with a fat brush. Um, <laughs> so he can get away with a fat brush all the time. I am not as practiced. And I feel like I like to have the details in the face. And, um, you'll notice watercolor papers tends to wrinkle too. There is a trick you can do where you go over it with a hot iron on the back side of it to flatten it out when it's all said and done. Or press it between two sheets of glass. Not a good um, practice I got into now is using watercolors more often having two big sheets of glass to press it to while it was still wet and during the drying phase all right I'm gonna start I think bringing some bringing some of the other colors besides these two that I've used so far But this is how fast watercoloring can go. Now the lower lip, give it some yellow, now come in with a darker blue and hit the underside of the upper lip and that should help separate his lips around a little bit. Alright, while well, I let that flare dry a bit, I'm going to hit some purples. I don't want to go straight purple. I mean, I know that I know that he's purple. The pants are purple. That's classic Hulk stuff. I'm going to mix it with some of this uh, some of this blue here and see what that looks like. I quite enough purple.
All right, that is a rough first beginning. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna let this dry a bit. Um, actually, I'm gonna let it dry completely, and then come in with a second uh, pass with a smaller brush because I can't live with this big brush stuff. It's not my. It's not my way. Uh, see you in a bit.